Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Good afternoon, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you. I thank you and I truly appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. New subscribers, welcome to the family. I love you guys. We are here doing a general reading for Libra. Guys, I did say general reading, okay? It's not personal. I'm going to give you guys one more chance. I've been getting some, some crazy stuff in the comments, which really doesn't make any sense because it's not a personal reading, okay? If I get any more, I'm just going to cut the comments off, okay? I hate to do that, but... People just don't understand. People don't get it. People don't get it. So, I'm not going to go through all of that. I'm just not going to do it. <sighs> it's a general reading. It's for someone rising in Venus. Libra, I've already paid, prayed over your cards, saved them, shuffled them, and I'm laying you down some overall energies. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Okay, something popped already for Libra. At the bottom of the deck, we got unconditional love. Unconditional love. Sorry about that. Um, love yourself, others, and, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. So, this is talking about loving somebody pretty much. From the inside, you know what I'm saying? The outside shouldn't matter. I mean, it, it depends on, you know, how love somebody for their heart. You know what I'm saying? For, um... <sighs> Y'all understand what unconditional love means? Y'all know what it is. You gonna love somebody no matter how they look? Some of us are. Because some of us, we got some shallow, you know, viewpoints. And we just human beings. But the universe is wanting you to love some someone unconditionally. Okay? Bottom line. And then you have blossoming. You are getting started. So have patience with yourself in the process. And do not give up. Do not give up. Let's see what your angel message is. Courage. Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. You have courage. Prosperity. I think y'all got some abundance coming in. I think y'all last video was talking about the abundance that you had. You guys got coming in. I believe. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Two of Pentacles and Justice. Hmm. What do we have for Vir Libra? Why did I want to say Virgo? I always want to say Virgo in the Libra. I don't know why, but that's that. Well, I did just see the Two of Pentacles and Justice. The King of Cups. What else do we have? For Libra. The Death Card. Um, Cancer had the Death Card. Someone is going through a transformation here. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Pisces or Cancer. Somebody here is juggling two people. Remember earlier when I just said I saw the two of pentacles? This king, usually it's one cup. He got two cups. He, he holding one and he got one that he's really not holding on to. 
But he holding on to something. And look at his leg. That look like a snake around his leg. Somebody is, is doing some snake stuff. Somebody being snake in a situation. Somebody, this King of Cups is juggling two people. This King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's the sign. You know what else I'm hearing with this King of Cups? This person is in love with two people. This person has emotions for two people. Libra, what are you doing? But something is going to end here. The, the death card, there's going to be an ending here. Someone is going to tra is transforming, like I say it. What else you got for Libra, guys? The Emperor. Yeah, somebody's juggling. The Emperor. This could be a boss, a CEO, father figure. Someone that's married here. We have the Nine of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got Aries here on the table. This is a wish fulfillment. The Hangman. Someone has been enlightened and, is getting, and, and trying to get a different perspective on a situation here. What else? The Six of Swords. This could be your energy. You wanting to end something and move to common waters here. You're trying to get a different perspective on who it is you need to pick here. Mm -hmm. We have Judgment. Somebody is wanting a second chance, possibly in a marriage here. We have the Three of Cups. Somebody could be doing a lot of partying here, over drinking. Someone is definitely wanting to reunite with their wish fulfillment here. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Nine of Wands. Someone's definitely guarding themselves, protecting themselves, protecting what's theirs. We got a stalker. Yeah, somebody has to make a decision here between two people. We got the Queen of, Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles here. King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Lord, 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 Lord. Libra, what is going on? What's going on with you? Um, I'll do that. I'm just go ahead and clarify and see what's going on here. Why is this King of Cups here? This King of Cups, like I told y'all, this King of Cups is a snake here. Juggling two people. Juggling two cups. He got two cups in his hand. Not one, but two. Um... And he's not letting nobody know, you know, what's going on. Why is the King of Cups here, guys? Why is this the King of Cups here? The King of Wands, see? Somebody is, is, is passionate about two people here. Ooh, all these cards came out. The Queen of Cups. Dang. The Eight of Swords. And the Lovers. Told you, this King of Cups is having to make a decision between two people. But he's about to take action. He or she is about to take action in action in this situation, but they feel mentally stuck. They do love somebody here. This is a big decision for this person. Ain't that something, y'all? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. They have a soul connection here with somebody. They're some, they very passionate about somebody here too. They stuck. I'm telling y'all, they stuck. Why is the death card here? 
for Libra. But they're going to come to a conclusion, the death card, again. They're about to end something. Something is about to end here. The five of wands, competition, fussing, fighting, and arguing. Conflict. Opposition. So there's definitely um, competition around here. Why is the emperor here? Dang, what is going on with y'all? Reading, Libra. We got the Magician and the Ace of Pentacles here. So somebody in a marriage here, this emperor could be an Aries, is trying to manifest a new beginning here because they want a second chance with you. They want to reunite with you because they feel that you are their wish fulfillment. Definitely got two different stories here. Definitely got two different stories here. Yeah, this this emperor is trying to manifest a new beginning here. Why is the nine of Pen the nine of cups here? The eight of cups. Somebody is walking away because somebody is definitely selfish here. Definitely selfish. And 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 the nine of wands. They somebody doesn't want to commit. Somebody is in and out. I mean, this passion right here, I mean, this is a fiery person that 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 that, that likes to spread their love all around, okay? Yeah, uh-huh. Why is the hangman here? That's just why something can't move forward. But somebody got a decision between two people. Oh, are you kidding me? The hangman again and the page of cups. Now somebody wants to apologize for treating you the way they've been treating you. Putting you in a third party. Not moving the situation along because they hoe. They hoe, y'all. Bottom line. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Libra, I'm not understanding this, this, uh, this reading. I'm not. As, uh, guys, I'm not understanding this. I hope they understand it. Because I'm not understanding it. So you want to move to calmer waters with a with a Pisces, with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. You want to move to calmer waters with this person, someone that's very stable and grounded, an Earth sign. But this Earth sign is focused on her money, period. And she could be married. Mm hmm. She could be married to this Emperor. And, and this emperor is wanting to start a new beginning. I'm trying to manifest a new beginning here. With a, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Judgment. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Somebody is making a judgment. The Nine of Wands. But somebody's very against it. Heavily guarded. Nine of Wands twice here on the table. The Ace of Wands. Someone definitely wants a new passionate beginning here. With you Libra or Libra. This is your person wanting a new passionate beginning with you. But somebody is still juggling here. Still juggling. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? Someone has not changed yet. The Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> somebody is making a judgment to put somebody out. Period. Five of Pentacles. Somebody's going to be feeling abandoned, okay? Left out, put out. Somebody about to get put out. Because somebody is moving forward here. Yes, at the bottom of the deck, we got the star card. Somebody's hoping and wishing and praying to work something out with their wish fulfillment. They're regretting the way they treated you. Six of Pentacles, they want an equal give and take here with you. Let's get some more information. What's going on with Libra in this situation? What other information can you give them, guides? What's going on with Libra in this situation? <clears throat> What's going on with Libra in this situation? Okay. Seduction. So, mm-hmm. And we got separation. Separation. Sadness missing you, thinking about you. Yearning, unsure of the future. And you have seduction. 
So somebody's flirting with somebody at their job, at the job. Yeah. Karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers, trauma, and resentment lessons, letting go and live and loving you. So somebody is in a situation that um there's a lesson that needs to be learned. And, 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 and most likely it's always that you need to love yourself. You shouldn't let nobody just walk all over you. If you're knowing that your person is seeing another person, you're not supposed to stay in that situation. Because you love yourself, you're not supposed to be treated that way, period. And then we have passion here. Insane chemistry. Like each other. Equally. Having fun. So someone is definitely, wow, on some snake stuff here. I kid y'all not. Somebody want to come back to you. Is this person on the right page? It doesn't look like it. It looks like this person is on the same BS, y'all. Somebody is in a situation and they liking somebody else, okay? So they liking somebody else. They digging somebody else, y'all. I don't know what else to tell y'all. Let's get an outcome. Let's get an outcome. I don't even know what to even name this video. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I didn't even get it. <laughs> I guess it wasn't for me to get, but I was supposed to just deliver the message that my um, guides was giving me. And I did. But I'm still supposed to understand it too. What's the outcome here, guys? What's the outcome for Libra? What is the outcome for Libra? Ooh, damn. <sighs> Cards flying all over the place. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Um... I'm putting that in there. What did y'all have for an outcome? The King of Pentacles. Towards the Virgo Capricorn. Somebody wants to offer not something now stable and grounded. Somebody really want to change now and give you what you deserve. What else? What other outcome you got for Libra? Yeah, somebody now wants success and victory. What is the advice? What's the advice? Somebody is still juggling in a marriage, y'all. Somebody's still juggling in a marriage. Definitely. Definitely. And what is this other card? Yeah. Ooh, it was two more cards. We got the five of wands and the ten of wands. Could be dealing with a Leo, Sag, or Aries. There's competition, and it's a burden for you, Libra. You know there's still competition in a situation. Or well, this is how your person feels. Your person feels that you possibly still dealing with somebody else. Okay, guys, this is what I have for you. I hope y'all understood it. I mean, it is what it is. If you resonated, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye.